So you bought yourself a new Yakima box, which is very nice, only to find out that in order to remove the key, you have to always lock the box. I'm sure that's some sort of government regulation regarding rooftop boxes or something, but I personally like to be able to remove the key and leave the box unlocked so I don't have to carry it around with me. So what I'm going to do is show you how to defeat that system. First, you need to remove the handle and lock mechanism. Uh, I'm not going to get in how to do that. Those You can find that all over the internet uh, or on YouTube. They're everywhere. So you need to get to this point. Then you need to have a control key, like it shows you in the directions here, to remove the actual lock cylinder, the core, as it were, as if you were changing out cores. Right now, if it's in the lock position, as this is, I can remove the key. If I go to the unlock position, it won't let me take the key out. Consequently, I have to carry the key around with me all the time. That I don't want to do. So we're going to remove this core, and I'll show you how to fix it. This is the core, the core tool. Just like in the directions, put the key in, go sideways, 45, remove the key, and put the core tool in. You'll have to jiggle it to get the core out for a few minutes. So you have to jiggle it around a little bit, but you will eventually get this core out. This is the core. Let me see if I can get this in focus. There we go. And this is what it looks like. Now these little tabs move up and down when you insert the key. I'm going to pull it. And that little tab there is what is holding the key in when you try and pull it out in the unlock position. Now I'm going to insert the other key and you'll see how that operates. So, as you pull the key in and out, these little fingers will move up and down. And when they're all in, when the key's all the way in, then you can turn, turn the key in the latch. As soon as you begin to move the key, they come up and bind the latch. Unfortunately, what happens is, in the unlock position, when you go to remove the key, this top one needs to move up into the and there's no channel for it to move into. So that's what's blocking the key from coming out. So we're just going to grind down that little top piece there. And that will eliminate the issue with the key. Now it will eliminate one out of the six latches that actually make it a lock. But it will make your life a lot easier. I'm going to show you how to grind that down. So I've put the control key back in which makes that tab stick up just the one and then I'm going to use a die grinder or a file or whatever you want to take that down flush with the lock housing so I've now ground that down flush with the housing so as I remove the key that one pin no longer pops up Sorry about the quality here, but that's what you want. So it doesn't come out as you remove the key. Now you got to put the core back in the housing and I'll show you how to, you can see how to do that. Just to give you the heads up, this is a 140 key. Looks like that. Your key may be different. The notches may be different, so the pin that actually sticks up when you attempt to remove the key may be in a different location. So make sure you figure out which pin is the one that sticks up on the one side. Okay, let's reinsert. This is the tool is in again. All the pins are down. We're going to reinsert it, the core into the lock. Got to get it in the right position. It's got to be lined up properly so that pin goes in there. Oh, 
Okay, there, just one in. So now I can remove this tool and use the regular key. So I put it in the lock position, remove the key, go to the unlock position, and remove the key. So now you can use your box unlocked and only lock it when you really want to. You're welcome. Okay, I've reinstalled the latch. It's in the lock position, key comes out. Now I want to put it in the open position. I unlock it, just like you normally would. It unlocks it, you can get the key out, and the box works without the key in it. That way I can lock it when I want to, and not when Yakima decides I want to.